The world of golf has become an ever-changing landscape, from the old-look elitist-style country clubs to a more modern and fun game for everyone. Similar to the world of golf, people who golf for a living have really increased with the adoption of social media, YouTube, and other channels that allow people to produce content. One of the early adopters of this trend are the amazing Brian Brothers of Golf. These two brothers became popular in the world of golf through their YouTube channel, where they share golf tricks, produce content, play in tournaments, and provide entertainment for many viewers. For years, the dynamic was that one brother, Wesley, participated in the PGA Tour and other professional tours, while the other mostly focused on the growth and development of their YouTube channel and revenue stream. However, this year, both brothers decided to participate in the PGA Tours together, fulfilling one of their lifelong dreams. So who exactly are the Bryan brothers? The Bryan brothers, George and Wesley, were born into a golf-playing family, so it was highly unlikely that they wouldn't develop an interest. Their father, George III, founded the Chape in South Carolina-based George Bryan Golf Academy, and he is currently the director. In 1999, he participated in the PGA Championship, so he was not only a coach, but a very strong player, too. The brothers followed in their father's footsteps and began playing golf. From 2006 to 2010, George Bryan played collegiate-level golf at the University of South Carolina. He was quite an impressive player as he earned the accolade of all Southeastern Conference first-team honors in 2008 and 2010. Also in 2010, he was the All-America third-team honoree. The younger brother, Wesley, also played collegiate-level golf at the University of South Carolina, where he won two events. After college, they both went pro. George, finished two years ahead of his brother, played on the PGA Tour of Latin America, the PGA Tour of Canada, and the Corn Ferry Tour. However, he recorded only one top 10 finish, and that's probably what discouraged him from participating in any more tours, and really began to look elsewhere to find a career and revenue stream that did not include professional golf tournaments. Wesley, on the other hand, did much better when he turned pro. After college, he played on mini tours for a bit before getting a card on Web.com, now Corn Ferry Tour 2016, by finishing T9 at qualifying school. During that tour, his brother served as his caddy, and in the third event of his debut season, he won the Chitimacha Louisiana Open. That same season, he won two more events that made him earn the Web.com Tour Player of the Year Award and also earn an immediate promotion to the PGA Tour. In 2017, Wesley got his first PGA Tour victory at the RBC Heritage. Besides earning him a spot at the 2018 Masters Tournament, it also boosted his OWGR. With the win, he got ranked 37th, his career best ranking to date. Although Wesley is still participating in the PGA Tours, what brought him into the limelight was the YouTube channel he owns with his brother. After college, the two men decided to dabble in creating golf content on their YouTube channel. Initially, they had done it out of fun because their main contests were what they called trick shots. Shots that seem almost impossible. But when they realized the amount of following they got from just posting these videos, they decided to monetize it and turn it into a side hustle to fund their professional golf careers. Soon, they got endorsement deals with companies like Lexus, GoPro, Callaway, and Southern Tide. And with that, they began growing the Bryan Brothers brand. Currently, their account Brian Brothers Golf has 245k followers on Instagram and 284k YouTube subscribers. They've also gained several followers on other social media platforms. So as time went by and the professional career didn't work out well for George, he decided to focus on building their brand and cheer for his brother who was participating in the PGA Tours. However, despite the fame from the brand, George had always longed to return to the field to resume his professional career and participate in the PGA Tour. And 13 years after turning pro, he got the opportunity to fulfill his wish but it didn't seem likely at first. In July 2023, George announced that he would be returning to the field and participating in the PGA Qualifier Playoffs to earn him a spot in the Wyndham Championship, the last regular season event of 2023. Many fans couldn't wait to see him on the professional golf course. The two Bryan brothers, alongside four other players, shot rounds of 66 at Bermuda Run CC and Bermuda Run North Carolina and were immediately sent into an intense playoff. However, after an exhilarating playoff, only three players earned a spot. But unfortunately, only Wesley, who already made 13 starts this season, made it through to the week's event at Sedgefield Country Club. 
Despite this setback, George decided to not only look forward and announced that he signed up for PGA Tour Q School and will try to earn his card through the multi-stage tournament series. At the Q School, he shared co-medalist honors at his pre-qualifying site and advanced through first stage. With his impressive performance, he got a sponsor exemption to the Butterfield Bermuda Championship which meant he was going to participate in an actual tour event. At Bermuda, George blew everyone away with his performance right from the Pro-Am. At the first event of the tour, George did much better than his brother, who had all those years of experience. And Wesley couldn't be more proud as he readily showered his brother with praise. You're hitting it good, you're putting it good, and you're chipping it good. Usually that's like the recipe, the golden ticket, the cat's meow. But despite the praises, the younger brother made sure to let everyone know he was going to do much better during the week. But that didn't happen. George had waited too long to put in anything less than his best. On Saturday, he started on the back nine and went three under through his first four holes. Then on numbers 15 and 16, he made back-to-back -back bogeys and added two more bogeys before making an eagle on the par 5 seventh. He closed with a two under 69 and sat tied for 54th going into the last round. As for Wesley, he shot 3-under, 68 on Saturday, and was tied for 46th heading into Sunday. Then on Sunday, both brothers put in their absolute best to make the cut. Although Wesley finished as the low Brian, T-37 at 12-under, after a final round 67, and George, T-69 at 6-under, after a final round 72, they were both pleased with their achievements. Wesley commented on how great it was for them to both compete at a tour event after years of wishing for that dream to come true. One, it was pretty special just to be able to tee it up on the PGA Tour with him. That's nothing that can be taken away from us moving forward. It was a dream that we've had since we were seeing the kids walk past here, since we could barely walk. That was kind of our dream. And as for George, he didn't know what to expect and was really nervous about participating. But with the help of his brother and the motivation of the Bryan Brothers community they had built over the years, he felt more sure of his abilities. I was playing good coming into the week, so I thought I could compete. But at the same time, I haven't played a tour event. I didn't know where the nerves would be, so just playing solid golf for two days was the goal. Whatever that looked like, I didn't know. When I got out there and continued to play like I had been in Q School and other tournaments, it was really cool. Now that both brothers are playing on the field and none is hiding behind the cameras, they are ready to turn their full attention to tour status and eligibility season. They're both set to compete at the same site for Q School's second stage at Kinderloo Forest Golf Club in Valdosta. Wesley's participation in the Q School is to improve his past champion status on tour, while George is hoping to secure a conditional Corn Ferry Tour status by advancing through the second stage. If George is lucky enough to finish the Q School in the top five and ties, he will earn a 2024 PGA Tour membership. But if he falls in the next 40, he will be guaranteed starts on the Corn Ferry Tour. But if he falls lower, he would have to settle for exempt status for PGA Tour America's Latin America Swing or conditional status on the Corn Ferry Tour and PGA Tour Americas. However, despite their focus on participating in PGA Tour events, they are not neglecting their YouTube content creation. They recorded the qualifying events for the Wyndham Championship events and shared regular updates about other events they've participated in on their social media platform. Besides that, they recently acquired a golf course where they would be shooting their trick shot videos, which is clear proof they won't be neglecting their YouTube channel. The journey of these two brothers initially took different paths, but their love for golf always prevailed. We hope to see them participating in more events together. Hopefully, they'll achieve great feats together like the Bryan Brothers of Tennis. So what do you think about all that has been discussed? Have you ever heard of these brothers or stumbled on their content? Kindly let us know in the comment section. If you are yet to subscribe to our channel and you're a golf lover, you're missing out? Do so now. Don't forget to like and share, and we'll see you in the next video.